Hey guys, how's it going? Mizzle42420 here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to cheat money at Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Nazi Zombies. As far as I know, this can only be done in um, single player or if you're hosting a multiplayer lobby. Uh, I, I don't think you can do it on standard, like online, but I mean, this is technically online. I am connected to the Hive, so every time I shoot somebody or whatever my points are getting synced so you know I'm still leveling up my guns and stuff like that uh, basically what we're gonna do is get some kind of points as you can see I have 210 pause the game uh, let's go ahead and attach this let's see here I'm gonna go for Black Ops 3 uh, do a 4 byte scan because uh, Black Ops uses four bytes uh, to determine their money value. Mine is 210 right now, so we're going to do 210. <coughs> Give that a second while it scans the process. This is pretty useful for like, um, if you want to get all the perks on round one or something along those lines. Just set your money to whatever. Alright, so let's do the next scan, narrow it down a bit. Okay. Now we're gonna get some more points. We've got 300 now. Do a scan for 300. Okay, we got it down to 48. Get closer. Now I got 350. Do a scan for 350. All right, now we're down to 10 addresses, okay. So there's a there's a point address that tells you your overall points gathered, and then there's also ones that define your current points. So what we're gonna do to test that is um, we gotta buy something. Uh, let's see what we got here, door 500, 500. All right, I'm gonna just kill this guy. Let's get, uh, get a couple more points here and then we'll buy something find the one that goes down. Yeah. We'll find the one that doesn't go down, I should say. Right, so here I'm going to buy this for 500. Now I have 10 points. Alright, so you see that one right there is the one that we don't want. We only want the ones that say 10. So we're going to select these, drag them down here, remove that one. Alright, and now these are our money pointers, or our money addresses. They're not pointers, I misspoke, but here you go. So we're going to change value. We're going to change that to 420, 100,000. And look at look at all those nice points we got. So now we can just go around and buy everything. <coughs> Get all the stuff, you know. GG. That's how it's done. Um, you can also do similar stuff with, like, ammo. Let's see here. <coughs> Alright, so I have 8, 7. Let's go with 7. Alright. And do a new scan for 7. Let's repeat these for now to avoid confusion. You can do or you can do ammo with your spare ammo that's in the reserve, like that you reload from, and you can also do it with the money or the ammo in your clip. We're doing it with what's in the gun, you know, so that we don't have to ever reload. We do seven, six. Down to 200. Another one, five. Down to 42. Down to four. Down to 38. Three. Apparently all of these point to your ammo. Uh, a lot of the more advanced games have like a lot of addresses that all point to the same thing as like checks, so that if you modify one of them, the other one will recorrect it. So yeah, uh, this is a couple ways of doing this. You can either lock your ammo, or what I usually do is I just set it to some ridiculous number. So I'll come down here and do like 
like change value. Just put it to 420. Okay. Uh, as you see, I got 420. Well, 419. Because I had to shoot for it to register. But yeah, there you go. 420 shots. <coughs> 420 shots in a shotgun with a lot of bullets so, or shells, so there you go. Simple cheats. There's tons of stuff you can do with Cheat Engine and uh, Black Ops. It's pretty much the same for most games, really, but Black Ops is a pretty good demonstration. Um, like I said before, you can't do this in a uh, multiplayer game unless you're the host. Um, this works in competitive online, it's not just zombies, it works in campaign. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, um, yeah, make sure that you don't go to cheatengine.org and download, like, the real fucking cheat engine. You want... Oh, see, there's one that was, like, bad, so you can just, like, remove shit like that. We don't want that anymore. These are showing you your actual value, those are the ones you'll keep. But, um... Yeah, this one's obviously a modified cheat engine. It's not the one that you get from cheatengine.org. If you go to cheatengine.org and download it, you're gonna get banned. You'll get banned by VAC. So, um, I recommend going to cheatengine.org, downloading their source code, and just building it yourself with some changed up strings. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This one's a lot easier. This game's a lot easier than like Daisy or something. You don't have to run in kernel. Um, like, you look, like basically nothing is required. This is a really easy game to cheat in. So yeah, there you go. Nice little tutorial.